If you're like most people, whenever you install Studio One, you're probably going to install all of these packages to the default location, which in this case is our C drive in the documents folder. And you can see all of those sound sets right here. Now we can move these to a different folder after installation, and that's exactly what we're going to do in this video. Now, one reason you might want to move your sounds to a secondary hard drive is one, so you're not taking up so much bandwidth from one hard drive. This is more prevalent in hard disk drives than necessarily with solid state drives, but it's still something to think about nonetheless. Also, sounds take up a lot of space. As you can see, the sound sets just from Studio One, about 35 gigs. That's a lot of space taking up our C drive. Also, if you happen to want to reinstall Windows fresh, you're going to lose all of those sounds and have to re-download them. So I always like to store all my sounds on a dedicated hard drive. And what I've done, I've already created a new folder here. As you can see at Studio One, just created a new folder and then grabbed our sound sets and dragged the entire folder into our new location. OK, so go ahead and do that first. We still have the original sound sets and all the content here in our documents folder on our C drive. We'll get to that in just a second. OK, so now what we need to do is come up here to Studio One, go to options, go to locations, go to sound sets. And let's go ahead and add that new location, which in our case is going to be on E Studio One and sound sets. Now we can delete these locations if we want. I'm not going to. I'm actually just going to delete the content, but uh, feel free to delete those if you want. First, let's go ahead and add our path. Go to E. In my case, it's on E, Studio One and Sound Sets. Select that folder. And there we have our new location. So we'll hit apply here right now. It's going to scan our sound sets. All right. And right now I'm just going to close down Studio One because I need to come here to this documents folder here. Again, Documents, Studio One. This is the default folder, okay? I'm just going to Control A and delete all of this content so we don't have duplicate content. So let's go ahead and relaunch Studio One. And there we are. Now we have one more thing to change. Come up here to Studio One, Options, Back to Locations, Sound Sets, and right here under Install 2, let's go ahead and change this to our new location, which is E and studio one sound sets select that folder that way any updates or new packages will be automatically installed to our new location again feel free to remove these here if you wish but click apply okay and now head into studio one and you'll see you have access to all of your sounds which are now on your secondary hard drive 